back to another video. So in this video, we are going to walk through lifting the state up in React.js. So what I mean by lifting the state up simply means that in this uh, video, we are going to learn that how you should uh, declare your state and where you should declare your state. So you do not face much problems. So here I have already created uh, three files here, uh, naming uh, lift state, user.js and admin.js. So first of all, let's say we are creating a class based component here and instead of that, I am calling both of those uh, components. First one is user and the second one here is admin. And let's say the some data is getting passed to this uh, admin component like the details of the user, which is name, password, age and gender both of these components are getting accessed from here so and let's say we are i am getting the data here and if i am creating the state here then what i'll be facing a problem here is whenever i want to use uh, the data of this uh, admin uh, user like uh, let's say i want to display the name and age of the particular user in the user.js component so i cannot do that because the state is defined in the admin.js and the user.js is being called from the lift state.js so the lifting the state up simply means that the um, state is first of all defined here in the admin.js which is a child component of lift state.js so it is it is getting called from the lift state.js so uh, the better way here is to declare the state here itself in the lift state so from where if i am declaring the state here so I can pass it as a prop to the admin.js also and to the user.js also. Okay. Let's first of all do that. Name which is seven and password. Let's say password will be SRP pixels and then the age. Let me remove this capital P age one and gender which is male okay, let me write it in the string only okay so what i'll be doing here is uh, why is it saying that is not defined uh, let me save it this also let me save it now why is it saying that it is not defined is not imported at here so first of all let's import it and yeah looks good and let's just save it and now we'll be passing uh, the state to particular component as a props so let's say this dot First of all, let's just destructure it here. So we do not have to write the this state again and again. Let's say name, password, age, and gender. Okay. Is it as to this dot state? So here we just uh, destructured it. So now we can use it just like that. And then password. Let's go to password. Uh, equals to gender okay and just copy that paste it here and let's remove we cannot pa pass the password let's say we want to pass the gender also yeah looks cool and here uh, we have to display all of that component things so what we can do here is uh, one more thing i want to mention to all of you guys here so what i want to say here is uh, we can also destructure the props also here so let's first of all do that so what we are getting past here is uh, name and then age and gender yeah. which will be equals to this dot props let's display everything inside of h4 let's say name 
team then the age then the gender yeah let's first of all check it that out yeah so as you can see here it is displaying the output and let me write here that it is the user that we are watching let's copy it right admin and also copy this and uh, this structuring so it's uh, just basically that like, you are restructuring the this dot state here you are destructuring this dot props okay and here we can also destructure one more field which is the password and let's just copy that Post here. yeah so as you can see here it is displaying everything so what is the basically we have to do here is you have to declare your state in such a way that you can that it is at the root of all the components uh, from in which that state is being used like the state is being used in user and admin js so the root of both of these components is the lift state dot js okay and let's say if this uh, is getting used in any third component also and all of this th all these third three components are mentioned in some other files then we should be declaring this state in that file okay so we just have to declare the state once and we can access it as a prop in every other components so that was all guys for the lifting straight up in react.js i hope you like the video and if you did do mention it in your instagram or any social media handles and do tag me it will give me a boost and it will motivate me to make more videos so that was all guys, see you in the next one.